will now discuss about improper integrals so you can see when some part or parts of a definite integral becomes infinite then these are called improper integrals so in the improper integrals part you will see that some integration parts are defined and some are undefined so let's see which are defined and which are undefined so here in this case if you are given that the integra uh, integration of function like this then let's see what happens here so it is x square and 1 to infinity okay and if you write this is x 1 by x square if you break this reciprocal this is going to be power minus 2 dx okay and after you take the integration it is going to be minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 and then from lower limit 1 to upper limit infinity and after that it is minus thing is here so minus 2 plus 1 is minus so take this outside and this is x to the power minus 1 and 1 to infinity so in fact this is minus 1 by x because x to the power minus 1 is 1 by x and the lower limit is 1 and the upper limit is infinity you can you have seen that here i have continued writing this lower limit and upper limit until i substitute these values in the integrated function okay and now you put that value this is 1 by infinity and then this is minus one time this is infinity another time it is 1 so this is 1 so in place of x there is again 1 so it is 1 and here minus 1 by infinity you know this is 0 and 1 by 1 is 1 so minus time plus minus is plus so this value is 1 so here you can see that the integration is defined all right because we have some specific answer like one here okay now let's see here what happens find the value find the value if it exists of this sort of integration so let's see whether or not it exists so here in question number 2 our integration is from 0 to 2 and 5 by x square dx then integrate it this is 5 x to the power minus 2 dx this is 0 to 2 and then we already have that integration done over here so it is eventually it is minus 5 is here so 1 by x 0 to 2 and then this is minus you can write here 1 by 2 minus this is 1 by 0 and it is minus 5 1 by 2 minus infinity and you saw that is equals to infinity so this is undefined all right so in the improper integrals you will see that some of the values are defined and some are not even i am taking here 2 but if you take here infinity then what happens this 1 by infinity will be 0 so this sort will be defined but 1 by 0 will be infinity this will not be defined so in that case you can say that the integration is undefined and therefore the integration of the function does not exist okay uh, in the third question you can see that the diagram shows part of the curve y equals to 20 by 2x plus 5 square and this is the diagram you can see here so in the diagram you can see this is the part of graph for this function and you see, uh, you can just see here at this point it is going near and near to x axis but it never touches it, it will touch in infinity only okay but as these areas are very small area because gap between x axis and this uh, curve line uh, 
cord path is very small that is very scanty therefore uh, this is possible to add or estimate the area under the curve between x axis and from x equals to 0 to x equals to infinity okay so so that as p tends to infinity that means first of all we integrate the function from x equals to 0 to p and then when p tends to infinity that means when x goes towards infinity then you have to show that the shaded area tends to the value 2 okay so in this case let's see how we can do this so this is not also the different process than we have been doing until now but only the difference is that we are dealing with improper integrals and as you go further towards x axis the gap between the x axis and the and the curve path is very small okay uh, those are in uh, tenth eleventh maybe hundredth and thousandth place of decimal so these are very small area so this is possible to add the areas up to infinity as well so here you can see so first of all your function is given as y equals to 20 by question number 3 it is given as y equals to 20 by 2x plus 5 square now you have to find the area by integrating so area up to x equals to p okay so you can abbreviate like a p or just leave it like a and then you integrate this function so this is 20 by 2x plus 5 square dx from x equals to first 0 to p so it is 0 to p so let's start integrating this so it is 20 is taken out and then you have sign of integration from 0 to p and then 1 by 2x plus 5 because you can write 2x plus 5 square then if uh, you break the reciprocal it's going to be minus 2 dx then by applying the general rule that we have learned in the indefinite integrals so what we did there that it is 2x plus 5 and its power is 2 plus 1 and then same thing over here in the denominator 2 plus 1 and you can see that the coefficient of x is 2 so it is it also gets divided by 2 and this is between the range of values of x from 0 to p that is the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is p okay <coughs> and then we simplify it little so it will be you can see that 20 is outside here and minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so this is divided by minus 2 so outside you will see that this is minus 10 and then it is minus 1 so this will be 1 by 2x plus 5 so you can write here 2 times of p plus 5 okay then minus term that we use in calculating the different integrals and then again it is 1 by 2x plus 5 to the power minus 1 means 1 by 2x plus 5 to the power 1 only so 2 times of this is turn to put 0 so this is 0 and plus 5 so you have now 10 1 by 2p plus 5 minus 1 by 2 times 0 is 0 and then it is 5 only okay so now question states that as p tends to infinity the shaded area of the shaded region tends to value 2 okay so here as p tends to infinity that means p is going towards infinity that means entire x is going towards infinity in that case 
you can write now uh, the instead of AP you can write A so it is minus 10 so put in place of P the infinity so 2 times infinity plus 5 minus 1 by 5 so it is minus 10 again over here and you know this is 2 times to infinity plus 5 is a still infinity and this is minus 1 by 5 and minus 10 is here so 1 by infinity is 0 and we are left with minus 1 by 5 so it is minus 10 times of minus 1 by 5 and minus and minus terms become 0 and 5 on the 5 5 to the 2 so this is 2 a square units and your problem is asking you to show that so therefore this is proof you may again stop by here and then try the following problems where you can see that whether this is defined or not defined not defined means the integration doesn't exist